what stands out about this uh, Saints offense to you? I mean, I think you just you take a look at them. You take a look at the weapons that they got. Um, you know, having Ingram back, Kamara, guys like that out of the backfield, as well as their receivers are big. Um, and the offensive line just trying to control the run game. So um, that'll be a challenge for us, um, you know, controlling the run game, making sure we're, we're staying on track and doing what we need to do to win the game. In your time in Minnesota, you had a lot of big games against them, but it's usually with, with Breeze on the other side. Mm -hmm. How's the offense different without them? I mean, I think you, you got to take a look at, you know, who's on the center. Um, obviously, Breeze is a very experienced quarterback. Um, played a lot of ball, can recognize a lot of defenses, get the offense in and out of calls um, and out of tough situations. So um, his experience alone uh, being there as another dynamic. Um, but, you know, each, each quarterback is different. Um, you take a look at who they have, who they're in the game, how they're utilizing them. Um, and then just try to adjust to well you can have, be able to get success. And one of those quarterbacks, obviously, is, is Taysom Hill when, when he comes in. Um, do you guys feel that like going against like Jalen Hurts every day in practice kind of helps you prepare for a guy like that if he were to come in? And... I mean, I think uh, anytime you have that dual threat aspect, um, it's something to you know, be, on, be on notice about. Uh, the ability not only for them to throw the ball, but to be able to you know, impact and have the impact in the run game, whether it's zone read or different things that they do offensively. But I think if you look at their style, their running style is slightly different. Um, you know, you look at Taysom Hill is more kind of like downhill um, power stuff. But I mean, it'll be a challenge. Guys will just, you know, get on the film, uh, be very detailed with what we want to do defensively and just go out and execute. I don't know if we've ever talked to you about it, but what happened to your hands? Um, I believe it was uh, earlier in the season, just kind of got banged up. Um, you know, played through it, wasn't really bothering me. And then uh, Tampa Bay uh, suffered a, a hand injury. and But now they're doing well, and I'm, I'm getting back to, you know, just playing some good football and, and just communicating and having fun with it. Did you put out a video of, of you with the interception mm -hmm. and pitching to Slay? Was that because you couldn't direct the ball with your hands, or did you just want Slay to return it? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I joke and say I'm faster, but, um, you know, I know Slay has a, a ton of ability. But for me, in that situation, it was just about going out, trying to help the team. Um, you know, after that play, it was just trying to give us the best chance to, you know, make something happen, swing some momentum before the half. Um, so it was a little bit of, of my hands casted at the time. Um, and just getting the ball to somebody who could, you know, make sure we kept the possession, but also try to do something afterwards. You're watching the film from last year. How did, how did the de how was the defense able to slow uh, the Saints offense? I mean, I haven't really taken a look at, um, you know, when when they faced them last year from an Eagle standpoint. Um, just because that's it's different different coaches. Yeah. Um, schemes a little bit different. Some of the players are not really there now. So it's totally new identity. So I really just try to take a look at from my standpoint of um, what are they doing this year? Um, you know, you, you have different personnel. You're going to utilize them a little bit differently. Some things may carry over um, and be staples for an offense, but it's mainly just trying to look at what they've done um, throughout the season this year in the past few weeks. You spent a lot of time watching other safeties in the league, and has Jenkins, Malcolm Jenkins, been a guy that uh, you've ever kind of modeled your modeled your game after, or pick up picked up little things from? I mean, I don't particularly study study other safeties. Um, I think if I if I check somebody's game out, it's just watching it leisurely, whether it's Thursday night, Monday night football, but. I don't really dissect um, film or break down film on other opponents, but Malcolm, who's a guy who's been in the league a very long time, um, from my days as a kid growing up, he was somebody who I watched in terms of when he was at Ohio, St Ohio State and he first came out. So, I mean, I admire his style of play, um, the passion that he kind of carries and, and plays with the game, but as far as dissecting his game, I haven't done that. When, when you look at Devontae Smith, um, what, what have you seen from him as far as his progression as the year has gone along? And, and also, like, you know, the way he's able to kind of, like, you know, break free even though he's, you know, not the biggest guy in the world, obviously. I mean, I think he, he's kind of showing those signs of being smooth, whether it was route running, um, being able to make people miss, uh, and then getting yards after the catch. That's kind of something that I've seen from him um, since being here. So to kind of see that come into fruition even more, it's just something that I think he's just continuing to work, come to work each day, um, continue to push himself and continue to try to strive to be the best that he can be. And then as well as guys just, you know, challenging him every day. Um, like we talked about Darius Slay earlier, um, competing every day, you know, communicating different techniques and everybody just ultimately learning from each other. He's just taking that into the game. And, and 
what, what did you make of his safety skills when he, when he broke up that pass or you know that ball that was going to be intercepted by Sertain? Yeah, um, I mean I, it was a, it was a big play. Um, you know, it was an opportunity for for a turnover there. Uh, he became the defender, ultimately broke up the pass and allow us to you know flip the field position and go into a punting game versus. Um, having a turnover in that situation. So we haven't really spoke about it. Might give him a little hassle, um, give him some compliments when we go back in there. But um, that was actually a big play for us to not be able to turn the ball over and flip the field position.